Folks, I've been posting videos for my three packs a day, 30 day challenge. And those videos have a stick overlay on them that lets you see exactly what my controller sticks are doing while I'm flying. And every time I post a video with a stick overlay, somebody asks the same question. Why doesn't he ever pitch forward? How do you fly a whole pack and it looks like you never actually push forward on the pitch stick? Today, we're going to answer that question. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Folks, we are here in a liftoff simulator because I thought this would be way easier to demonstrate with the stick overlay on a simulator rather than trying to actually fly it in real life and then have to do the stick overlay in post. But the principles we're gonna demonstrate are exactly the same here in the simulator as they are in real life. And just to make you feel comfortable, we are gonna be flying around, uh, in case you didn't know this already, liftoff, the devs over at Liftoff actually created a 3D model of my freaking house. I don't think you can fly up in the barn. Can you fly up in the barn? I don't think so. Can they model that? They... No, no, no. They put a door there. Dang. Well, anyway, so uh, if you want to fly around my house, please don't come fly around my house without permission. But you can get Liftoff Simulator and you can fly around my house. And I got to tell you, it is surprisingly similar to the real thing. It really feels like the real thing. <laughs> um, about the only thing that is different is that some of these trees are, I mean, you couldn't put every single tree in exactly the right spot, but they did a really good job. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get to the question. Why don't you pitch forward when you fly? And to answer that question, we're going to take this drone and we're going to put it in uh, auto level mode or angle mode as Betaflight calls it. And in angle mode, if you look at the sticks, when I raise the throttle, I'll go straight up. Okay. And then if I want to go forward, I push the stick forward and I go forward. But if I center the stick, the quad levels out again, right? And here I'm, I'm sort of coasting forward. There's not, doesn't seem to actually be a lot of drag on the drone. It just coasts forward. It just keeps coasting forever. But in general, if you center the stick, the quad levels out. So it makes sense that you would think that if you're flying forward, you got to be pushing the stick forward. See, I'm holding the stick forward. The quad is moving forward. Now, that's how angle mode works. And if you're like flying a tiny whoop in angle mode, then that is exactly what you're going to have going on. But people who fly freestyle and racing, except for like some tiny whoop pilots, don't fly in angle mode most of the time. They are flying in what's called acro mode. And here's how acro mode works. In acro mode, when you move the stick, the quadcopter rotates, but it holds when you center, hang on, we're drifting here. When you center the stick, it holds its position. So for example, if I hover right here, so now I'm sort of hovering. If I wanna move forward, let's get hover. If I wanna move forward, I push the stick forward and now the quadcopter is pitched forward and we are moving forward. But now I don't have to push forward anymore to continue going forward. The quad is already pitched forward and unless I wanna speed up or slow down, I don't need to change that. So when we're in acro mode, don't think of forward or back pitch as moving forward or back. Think of it as speeding up or slowing down. If I wanna speed up, I pitch forward more and I go faster. If I wanna slow down, I pitch back and I go slower. So here, if I'm moving forward like this and I wanna slow down, I'm gonna just bump the pitch back stick and I'm gonna slow down. But notice, I don't need to hold it. I just make the quad pitch back just a little bit and it begins to slow down and then I recenter the stick. So I'm only moving the stick when I want to adjust my speed, not when I wanna maintain my speed. When I want to maintain my speed, I just leave the stick where it is, the quad stays where it is, and it continues to drift. So the real question that we should be asking is not, why do you never pitch forward? The real question we should be asking is, why are you constantly pitching back? And if you look at, let's look at a stick, watch my sticks as I just fly around the property. So here, I'm just going to fly around and watch that right stick. I am constantly pitching back, not at this exact moment, but way more often than when I'm pitching forward. Look at it, I'm, I'm pitching back all the damn time. Do you see that? All the damn time, why is that? And to get the answer, we have to think about what happens when the quadcopter turns. And I wanna show you what a turn with yaw only looks like. So here, here we're flat, 
And when the quadcopter's flat, if we yaw, we just spin in a circle, right? That's not that interesting. But if we pitch forward a little bit and we yaw, we spin in the same circle, but the quadcopter is tilted relative to the horizon, okay? So as you saw there, simply yawing alone does not cause the quadcopter to change direction. It maintains its pitch angle and its direction of travel, and it just changes which way you're facing. In order to turn, we have to do roll and yaw. So let's look at what happens when we roll and yaw only and nothing else. So here we're moving forward and I'm gonna start turning with only roll and yaw. Do you see that the quad is effectively pitching forward and it ends up cratering into the ground? I'm again, I'm gonna do roll and yaw only. I wanna show you guys, I want you to see what happens. So here we're pitched forward, we're flying forward. I'm going to begin to turn with roll and yaw only. So, for reasons, roll and yaw only make the quadcopter crater into the ground. They make the quadcopter pitch forward. It seems like the quad is pitching forward because the combination of roll and yaw have that effect. The quad ends up pitched more forward. So, in order to affect a turn, we have to roll, yaw, and pitch back because turning essentially makes the quad act like it's pitching forward. And that's why quadcopter pilots seldom pitch forward because the act of turning has the effect of causing the quad to pitch forward. So as you turn, you have to pitch back to counteract the pitch forward effect of the turn. And if you do want to pitch forward, all you have to do is just not pitch back quite as much and you'll come out of a turn pitch forward more than you came into it. That's the answer. Now you will see quadcopter pilots pitch forward, but as I showed you at the beginning, it is just a brief adjustment to the speed of the quad, whereas pitch back, you're having to do constantly every time you turn to counteract that effect. So for example, as I come through this tighter section and come out into the field, I might pitch forward to get some speed in this big open area, right? And as I come through here, I might pitch back just a little bit to adjust my pitch angle and, get, and slow down as I come into a tighter area. Now here I'm going a little slower than I want, so I'm going to pitch forward and just adjust my speed that way. But for... But each of those little adjustments is just a little blip or push, little little more push forward, right? Most of the time, the neutral position of the stick is centered, or if you're turning, it's pitch back. You must pitch back to turn. So let's just fly around here for a minute. Oh, don't crash though. So here, let's come into the driveway here and we'll do a turn here. Oh, bonk. So here I'm going too slow because I crashed. I might pitch forward there to get myself going again and establish that angle that I'm looking for. See, there's a little pitch forward right there. Those trees aren't in the same place they are in real life. <laughs> so here I'm just pitching back to slow down while the turns push me faster. Now the other time you'll see a, a pilot pitch forward, of course, is when you do a move like a roll, right? That, that of course makes sense. But it's during the flying around, I think, that people wonder why you never pitch forward. The act of turning causes you to pitch forward. So you're always pitching forward without even trying, and you're counteracting that with pitch back on the stick. That's going to, oh, that's pretty much what happens in real life, too. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that made sense. If it didn't make sense, try it yourself. Try to turn without pitching back. You can't do it. This is just like the real thing, man. Oh, they even have the goat pen up here. Adorable. That's where the goat pen is in real life. Oh, they put Essa's fence in. Love it. You guys have no idea how similar this is. Oh, except that doesn't happen in real life. You guys have no idea how similar this is to 
flying at my house for real. They did such a good job with this. Well, Alright folks, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this educational and if you ever watch a stick overlay, hopefully now you understand why you don't see the pilots pushing forward near as much as you might think they ought to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying. Thank you.